So this was the initial walkthrough. Um, what we're looking at is the closet, like right at the front door. As you can see, it was a lot of stuff like everywhere. Um, the drywall was peeling. This, this is the living room, drywall, paint peeling. Um, I mean, it, it wasn't in the best conditions. Um, and this is just like the initial walkthrough. Like right when I bought it, the next day I was able to come to the house, walk through. Um, I see holes in the walls, chipped paint. The house had apparently been sitting for some time. Um, so, and then before it was sitting, it was um, squatters living in there. So now we're like in a dining room area. Um, you can see like the ceiling is missing there. It had a water leak from the upstairs bathroom is what I'm assuming why it was, you know, like that. And like all the ceiling and the dining room kind of fell out from that leak that was happening in the, from the upstairs bathroom. Um, same thing, paint, peeling. And um, yeah, so you can see that. Um, has like those old windows. So definitely had to replace the windows. Um, but that, that I end up tearing out that whole entire ceiling. Um, and then you go into the kitchen, which was disastrous, like terrible. Like this was the kitchen. And now if you see my kitchen, um, it looks nothing like this at all. Um, I end up tearing out this wall. Um, got all new drywall put in. Um, tore out all of that blue tile, all new cabinets, um, replaced the flooring, like that's pill and stick, um, new sink and countertops, but it also just had a lot of pill and paint. Um, and I just was checking right here to see if the wall was low bearing or not because I knew for sure that I wanted to tear it out that's what I'm saying like when you guys see these homes like you have to have a vision you have to be optimistic because I mean if you don't have a vision you're not going to be able to see the potential in a disastrous situation so like I mean coming on into this house it was like wow you know and I hadn't seen it before I bought it so it was just was like a first look basically now we're seeing how the floor is buckling in the hallway um and that's the living room again and bathroom the bathroom wasn't too bad it's um i think my bathroom actually looks worse now because i tore all of that stuff out and have yet to get the bathroom fixed or finished so the bathroom looks worse than it did in the beginning but it is a project to come bedroom number one which is now my office slash workout room it really wasn't that bad just some little chips in the paint cracks in the paint um closet had a lot of chipping in there uh pill and paint bedroom number two which is now my sister's room um really wasn't too much wrong with this room same thing like i said the house had been sitting for a while so it does have like a lot of that pill and paint. And then it has this back porch, which I still have. We had to clean that all out. Uh, we did rent a dumpster. Um, so when you do purchase homes from the land bank, you're probably going to need to rent a dumpster so that you can clean it out. And I would just recommend, I mean, you may not want to get your hands dirty, but to save on money, it does benefit you to um, do a lot of this stuff yourself. Like the clean out, you know, I had to help. Uh, from someone so yeah so now we're upstairs this is the attic upstairs and um you want to make sure that you are um like have all holes in the attic closed because i did have a real bad squirrel problem <laughs> and they were like living in the attic so um make sure when you do get your home like you secure all entries for critters so that you cannot be having any critters this is bathroom number two this is a half bath it initially it currently only has a sink and a toilet but my plan is to tear out this wall that we're looking at 
and make it a toilet sink and stand up shower bathroom. So, um, yeah, and this is upstairs. It's a three bedroom bungalow. So this is the upstairs bedroom. Um, it has a cedar closet. This is what I plan on tearing out so that I can put the stand up shower and make the bathroom bigger with the stand up shower, toilet and sink area. And again, like I said, this is just me like first day, basically um, coming and checking everything out. Master bedroom. It has some cracks in the paint. And so I just was kind of looking at that just to make sure like it's nothing like serious and it wasn't. Um, I was able to get that mudded and paint it over and it, you can't even tell it was there. Um, had to get that little hole fixed. Drywall, mud and paint. You can't even tell that was there. And just kind of checking out everything putting my vision together um, this area right here is a really nice area like going into this little room that I'm about to go into and so I decided to make this a walk-in closet um, but I haven't like completed it yet but this will be a walk-in closet um, it's very big in there um, I really like it like I can't wait until that vision comes to place but again, this stuff takes time. Like if you, I, I'm not a person who was balling out of control. I didn't take out any loans. I'm doing this all with my own money from work. And so it does take a little bit longer. I mean, and that's just kind of the expectation you got to set for yourself. Like don't rush yourself. I was like thinking my house is going to be finished in the first year. And here we are in year three and I'm still not completely finished yet. So just take your time. But yeah. It's a process and I'm enjoying the journey and I cannot wait until it's like completely finished. So yeah, I was just checking it out and seeing what I can see in there, but um, I did end up like cleaning that out a little bit. And that's a closet, but I don't even use that closet. There's like storage stuff in there, nothing in there for real. So yeah, this is the upstairs. Then I go outside and kind of look at the outside. Um, I have a two-car garage. I ended up taking that door off, that garage door off. And this is the back porch. I think this was after we had cleaned it off. Yeah. So I still have that back porch. And I do need to get some, some storm windows or screens in there still. Still looks exactly like that. But it wasn't bad. Once I cleaned it off and once I do whatever I'm going to do to the inside of it, I'll definitely post a video on my channel so that you guys can see, like, how I can fix the sun porch on a budget or something. I don't know. But, yeah, so this is the backyard. The only thing that's wrong with the backyard or is, the, is that the garage needs a new roof and my garage needs a door. But outside of that, I have a two-car garage and it's cleaned out. So, I'll definitely come to you guys with the video so you can see like I'm gonna make a video just so you guys can see like everything as it is now three years later because people really are interested in seeing like how this process worked and I mean the best advice that I can give to you guys is patience research do a lot of projects yourself um, hire professionals where there is a professional needed. But as you can see right here, I had to hire a professional and DTE because the wires were cut. The, the meter was gone and everything. So DTE had to come out and do, you know, their thing. So a lot of these homes, the meters will be taken and the, um, lines will be cut. So you will have to contact DTE so they can run your electrical and stuff like that. But yep. Yeah, and I've been working on my yard this year, my backyard. So you, would, you guys would definitely be seeing how um, my yard is turned out because I'm really excited. I planted all new grass seeds. And so, yeah, you guys shall see what the backyard looks like soon. But we were just cleaning out everything in the house. This is the front view. 
or side view rather. And then my house is about 1,400, I think it's 1,446 or something like that, 1,446 square feet, um, three bedrooms, one and a half bath, two car garage, a basement. Um, yeah, so this was the home when I first got it. I have since cut down these two trees in the front. I still have to get a new porch. I'm going to kind of walk up to the porch so you can kind of see that the porch definitely needs to be um, replaced. And one thing I do want to kind of touch on while I'm talking about the porch, <sighs> hire professionals. Hire somebody reputable. Like, don't just be on Craigslist or Facebook marketplace and find the first person that, you know, say, oh, yeah, I could do that or whatever. Because you will get scammed, conned, and all types of stuff. Like, I had my fair share of terrible experiences with contractors. So, you want, you, you just want to do your research on that end as well. So that you're not getting scammed or conned out of any money. Um, I have a few contractors that I would recommend. Um, so, if you needed someone, I can definitely refer you to someone. Um, just so you can, you know, know somebody that's, like, gonna be legit so um yeah but other than that like this is just the the look of the outside i kind of tried to get every little detail and i'm so glad i documented this journey and recorded this journey uh, when i bought the house i never thought that i would be making a youtube video for it you know um years later and i just was kind of showing you guys like my block and how those houses were abandoned but now two those houses are now occupied so that's a plus. Um, yeah, so that pretty much sums up this video. Um, I don't think that I would have anything else to say really about it. There were Those houses are now occupied. The one that's boarded up was empty and now it's occupied. So yeah, my neighborhood has come a long way and I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving, you know, my home. Like I said, this is the best thing I could have done. And like, if you have any questions at all or need help throughout the process, just let me know and I'll be more than willing to help. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.